we finally got some much needed rain so um, ignore our yard it's been pretty stormy but I wanted to show you guys uh, next door <laughs> the estate sale I'm going over there one last time um, it's Sunday so this is the last day um, yeah so we'll see how this goes hopefully there were a couple pieces of furniture that we were interested in and if they're 75% off we might grab those but um, anyway I'm probably not going to film inside. We'll see how crowded it is, but there will be a haul after this. Hey guys, I am going to film the fastest haul video possible. Um, so, as you saw, there was actually an estate sale next door. I had no freaking idea until Thursday morning when Rick said, Why are there so many cars parked next door? I was like, oh my gosh, I knew it was vacant, um, but I didn't know they were having an estate sale. Um, so, I mean, how freaking convenient is it to have an estate sale next door when you're somebody who sells vintage collectibles and antiques and everything I sell? So, suffice it to say, we went back several times. We got a few things that we needed for ourselves. We got these huge uh, plastic uh, planter buckets um, because we're making a pond um, in the backyard for for fish hopefully koi fish uh, but that's a whole nother story and a whole nother video but um, I I went there and I went to two garage sales it was so freaking hot today that um, or not today I'm filming this on Sunday which is right before my sale so some of these items may not be available if they sell today just to let you know but you can always always reach out to me if you see something you're interested in but i didn't hit two garage sales on thursday friday um they just had signs up and I'll, you know what i'll just start with them because they're really fast uh, one was these little girls maybe 10 years old uh, they were doing a garage sale by themselves. Their mom was there, of course, but um, they were so sweet and so cute. Uh, they really just had their toys and clothes, which was something, um, you know, I wasn't really going to get into the clothes, but um, yeah, they were sweet. So I had to get some things from them. I got these three My Little Ponies. I have not researched or cleaned a thing. Um, but I got these because I do know that some resell for a good amount and I wanted to help them out y'all They were so cute. I asked them what what are you doing a garage sale for? What are you saving up for and they said we're putting it in savings Which I thought was the most mature and smart thing to do. So I wanted to help them out They also gave me a little house um, like a playhouse for cats because they had lost their cat and um, They were just so cute, but I also got these two little uh, tie um, stuffed animals, an owl and a tiger. I thought maybe the dogs might have fun with them. They're pretty tiny. Um, but if anybody's interested, you can always let me know. And with the ponies too. Then I got this dachshund. Um, I'm not sure if he's uh, the pink Victoria's Secret brand or not. He kind of reminds me of it. Um, he may not be. He may be from Justice or something like that. But he's one of these with the sequins that is so fun to play with. Um, so freaking cute so i got him then i got a watch from them which it needs a battery but it is a really cute um disney watch um it has a leather band um so i thought there might be somebody out there that wants that uh that's all i got from them then the other garage sale i went to um didn't really have much for me at all but they did have these three willow tree figurines so i went ahead and picked them up because they were new in the box I did unwrap them so I could show them, um, but one is the Angel of Winter, the Angel of Gardening, and the Angel of Spring. So I know there are some people out there that collect willow trees, so I went ahead and picked those up. And the rest of this is from next door. No, I lied. There's a thrift store in town now, and I did go there on Friday when I was out garage sailing, and I picked up a few things there, including um, the ceramic uh, Native American horse. Um, he is magnificent. There's no marking on him, but I absolutely love this. Very, very cool. Maybe a keeper. I don't know yet. Um, then I picked up some jewelry there. I got some more 
of these um, natural stone and sterling rings. I think those are the last two that they had there. So of course I picked those up. I can't remember the names of the stones right now. I'm exhausted from last night. Um, I got this cloisonne style um, pair of earrings from uh, Lauren, Ralph Lauren. Wow, I am just dropping everything. That's because I'm trying to brush. Um, I just thought they were really pretty. I love the colors um, and they are vintage. Then I picked up this really pretty rhinestone cross pendant there as well. Um, I know there's somebody out there that will love that. Uh, what else did I get there? Oh, I got these two Asian girls. I don't know if they're little geishas or what exactly they are. They are marked um, Odagiri. They are so cute. They're, they're kind of large figurines. Then I picked up this resin piece, but it's a mermaid and dolphins, and I just thought she was really pretty and there might be somebody out there that is into this because it's a mermaid um i think that's all i got there no i got this oh my gosh i haven't researched this but this obviously is a goldfish planter very very mid-century in excellent condition i love that love it love it love it okay so the rest i got next door where do i even start We'll start with these. I got these three um, vintage pictures. These are Italian um, prints. Um, there's cording couples here. And then there is this flower one. Um, I got this mushroom trivet because, yeah, 70s mushrooms. Um, amazing. I do have shrooms in my kitchen. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that or not. But if you're interested, you can always reach out. Then I got these two ballerinas. Um, they are amazing. They're planters, and they have um, a violin and a drama mask. One is a boy, one is a girl. They are Almac, 1956. Um, she does have damage. Part of the violin, um, the head of it came off, but I thought they were absolutely amazing, so I had to get them. I love these. They're freaking awesome. Then I got this, and I am not sure. This is a milk glass base, and then you have brass here. Um, I think the consensus is that this is probably an incense burner. Uh, when I did a Google lens of it, it said it could be used for apothecary. Um, I'm not quite sure. It does obviously have some residue in there. Um, it needs to be cleaned, but um, I thought that was really cool. Then these two um, salt and warmers I got. Um, these are amazing. Look at this freaking print. Oh my gosh. Um, I have not had time to plug those in and see if they work, but usually when I find these, they do work. Um, so I got that. Then I got this wooden eagle notepad. I just thought it was cool. And obviously it's old. The wood looks really old on that. It's obviously meant to hang on the wall. Really cool piece there. Um, I got this, you know what? I got this one at the thrift store. I forgot all about it. This is an ice bucket and it is so detailed. It has uh, this nautical theme on it. It's readable with uh, these galleon ships. Uh, very, very detailed. Have not looked this one up yet. It's marked Gorman, F-A-M, Gorman Family, I'm assuming it is. Um, so it's probably silver plated, I'm not quite sure. But what I loved about it is on the lid, you have recipes for um, cocktails. I mean, how freaking cool is that? Sidecar, Tom Collins, Whiskey Sour, Brandy Alexander. I mean, how freaking cool is this? Daiquiri. Oh, that sounds really good to me right now. Um, so I picked that up. Um, I did get this there as well. This little bag um, or wallet jewelry bag is probably what I will use it for unless somebody is interested. Um, I think it's silk. It's really cute. What else? Um, I got this next door too. Not quite sure if this is going to go in my 70s mushroom kitchen or not, but this is Arnell's. It's this little covered dish. Um, I got this amazing chip and dip set. This is made in Japan. It's very reminiscent of Treasure Craft. I was actually surprised it wasn't Treasure Craft when, um, when I got it home. I got this, um, gosh, this old Aladdin thermos. I picked up this really cool ashtray with these beautiful violets on it. This is Japan. It is porcelain. 
Um, I got these two flower frogs, this rectangular and this oval one. Um, I did get some jewelry there. I got this cloisonne um, necklace. This is a silver tone vintage uh, tassel necklace. It's really cool. Um, I got this three layer. Um, I don't think this is lucite. Haven't tried to find that out yet. It is definitely um, a vintage necklace though, but look at these amazing colors on it. I love it. Then I got this wood necklace. I've been picking these up lately because I think they're awesome. Um, I got two belt buckles here. I love this one with this crest with these lions. Um, and then I got this benchmark uh, bourbon buckle. I got some pictures. Um, what did I get there? These are actually dated 1936. And I want to find out. It looks like this is in San Antonio. So I don't know if that's the Alamo, uh, but I need to look into that. Um, she is just gorgeous. I don't know if she was who owned the house or not, but there um, are some really old pictures in here. Very near antique. Um, I just thought they were really, really cool. I'm not going to spend a lot of time. Like I said, I'm trying to get this done really fast. Um, I picked up a few Christmas items. I got this vintage um, tablecloth, still in the original packaging. I got this little dustpan with this hand-painted uh, cardinal with the holly. I got a vintage Santa planter. He's really cute. I got these. Um, I don't, I'm pretty sure these were vases or candle holders, um, but they have the Starburst design and they're for Christmas. Really cool. There's an ornament on this one. I picked up this metal napkin holder just because I thought it looked cool. I got these two little birds. They're toothpick holder. I've not cleaned them. I just realized I passed over this brass rose candle holder, which is awesome. Um, this vintage Taiwan snow owl, which is also really cool. He's got plastic eyes. Adorable. Um, I got this angel, angel uh, nightlight or light. I did test her. She does light up. She's awesome. I got two vintage scarves. This one is Italy. It is polyester. And this one did not have a label on it, but I thought it was really pretty. I got these two ginormous tonala planters. Um, they are signed. I'm not going to take too much time to flip them over and show you that. I got two vintage wallets. This one is so awesome and then there's a Dooney Burke wallet which does have some wear on it um, I'm gonna have to work on that one a little bit I got these amazing wooden bowls uh, I don't know what they are made of but they're freaking awesome look at this one very cool um, and I got this one we may keep this one for a fruit bowl not quite sure yet but uh, Rick saw it and he was like you have to get that I was like okay um, I'd already picked out these, but he really liked it. Um, I got four, no, I'm sorry, three Fire King mugs. They are all different. Again, nothing has been cleaned, but um, had to get those. Then I got two Indiana Glass, Amber, Stars and Bars Fairy Lamps. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, I'm getting notifications on my phone, and it's messing everything up. I got this child's tea set, which is adorable. Porcelain. Haven't researched it. Then I got the strainer because my great grandmother had one just like this. It brought back all the feels and all the memories. So I was like, you know what? I need one. Likely my mom or my aunt has hers. Um, but you know, just in case. Wow, that's the fastest I've ever done a haul, I think. Ignore everything in the background. I have been running around. Um, if this somehow happens to upload before my sale today, I do have a sale at 5 Eastern with Bell and Kel. And um, if you see something you're interested in, you can reach out. Like I said, some of these items will be shown in the sale, though. Okay, guys, take care. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, a um, rest of your weekend. And don't forget to like, comment, and you know the drill. Okay, guys, see you soon. Bye-bye.